Hey there, I'm Di and welcome to the place where we create stuff. I'm actually super pumped about today's video because I've watched this Chloe Rose art video where she unboxed and reviewed an art advent calendar. And I thought, actually, I'd really love to have an advent calendar for myself to do this year. So I went online to see what art advent calendars I could get my hands on. And I'm looking away. Lo and behold, one pops up in a brand that I recognize. I'm like, I know that brand. How do I know that brand? And then I saw that it's from a store that's here in Australia. So I quickly got onto the website, had a look. Oh my goodness, this never happens. They had stock in my local store. So of course, into the car, race on down there, go in hoping I'm not gonna miss out on one, get slightly distracted by the Posca pens that have been restocked, but resist temptation, keep going. And there it is, and it's huge. Let me show you how big it is. <laughs> there it is, it's, it's big. And so I got it and then I'm like, I'm a very impatient sort of a person, I'm worse than a child. I don't wanna wait all of December to open all this up. I wanna do it all in one go. So I thought, why not do it in a video with you guys and we'll create something at the end with whatever we find in here. Now I'm trying to keep my expectations low because it was cheap. It was $24.95 Australian. Plus when I did look at the reviews, it has had one review so far and it's got one star and the comments weren't very complimentary. But let's find out for ourselves whether it's actually worth more than a one star rating. Let's find number one. Number one. Oh, here it is, number one. All right, this is not opening very easy. So we have, it looks like it's a an alcohol marker doesn't actually say it's got a fine and a broad tip and it's in the color red so we've got an alcohol marker i think maybe if i sniff it whoo i think it might be okay number two ah uh, here's number two okay we got a little canvas so hopefully we'll be able to create something on a little baby canvas okay number three is this little guy up here that's not pushing in. I think I need this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, we've got a little thing of acrylic paint in gold. Number four. Hopefully we get a paintbrush. Oh, question answered already. Come on. So it's a round seven brush. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, and I've just destroyed the bristles already. Oops. Right, number five. There it is. Eeny, bitty little one. An eraser, maybe? Sharpener? Oh, Aha, look at that, it is. Okay, we've got a little sharpener. Eh. Number... Wait, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm losing count already. Doesn't bode well for my memory. Okay, oh, it's a long, thin one. Really long, thin one. And it's a pencil. Okay, we have a HB graphite pencil. Seven, which is another long, thin one. Here I was thinking, yeah, I'll make sure I open my calendar so neatly. It's just not happening that way. Okay, we have another pencil. Okay, it's a medium charcoal pencil. I've never done anything with charcoal before. Uh, I don't know that I really want to. Want eight. Eight, eight, can't be late. Ooh, okay, we've got this big one here. Is that the biggest one, actually? I think that might be the biggest window. So let's see. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, just bent my fingernail backwards. Oh, it is some little bits of sketching paper. That's actually really cute. And there's about a dozen. Cool. Number nine. Okay, all right. This is one that was on the front. Oh, okay. Hold the phone. <laughs> I've just realized I've been missing something. 
on the insides of these it actually says what it is. So let's go back to this one for the sketching paper. It says mini sketch sheets. Tis the season to be merry. Sketch your favourite holiday season activity with Bourne's mini sketch sheets. Bourne being the brand. This one is your art pride of place with the Bourne mini easel. Have a little easel. So hopefully we're going to get a little, oh we did get a little canvas. What am I talking about? A little mini easel for our mini canvas. How cute. All right, let's get on. We are up to number, anyone know? 10. I reckon we'll be getting an eraser soon. Oh, we got more paint. Titanium white acrylic paint. 11. Let's get through this a bit quicker. Oh, it's another little one. I'm going to say a razor this time. It's an eraser. Just a stock standard eraser. Number. Sorry, my chair's going to be farting as well. I promise I'm not farting. It's my chair. I'm in a different chair today. Every time I bend forward, it farts. We're up to number 12. We have a 2B graphite pencil. Uh, straight up to 13. Oh, I was looking at it because it looks like just a roll of paper, but it um, says it's a yellow oil pastel. So that's why they've wrapped it in the paper. So yellow oil pastel. That was 13, we're on to 14. Okay, we have another pencil. It says it's a blue watercolour pencil. Okay. Um, sure. 15, 15, right there. Ooh. Oh, that's a big one. Exciting times. Okay. Watercolour paper accordion. Make gift tags, cards, or a storybook with Bourne's watercolour accordion paper. So, oh, I get it. Quartz. It's like that, and you open it up, and it's just watercolour paper. It's pretty thin for watercolour paper, but... Yeah, 16 right above it. I think it's more oil pastels. No, compressed charcoal medium. Oh no. I thought the charcoal pencil would have been enough. Charcoal stick medium. I'll put you back in there and you may never come out again. 17. More paint. A little tube of black acrylic paint. Uh, 19? No, 18. Okay, we have a pigment liner and it's a 0.3 and it's um, got an interesting barrel on it. It's, you can probably see it. 19. Oh, a circle. What do you reckon the circle's going to be? Oh my god. Okay, I like this. This is so cute. Look at it, it's tiny. A little paint palette flower. Why do I like that so much? Weirdo. 20. It is a green pencil. If I can get it out. There we go. 21. Ah, this little guy. It's only little. Oh. It's a kneadable eraser. I appreciate that. Is it showing? It's tiny. Can't get any closer. We're up to 22. Hi. A plastic palette knife. Okay. We are getting down to the last ones. Oh, it's another marker. It looks purple. Do you know, I thought they were going to go for Christmas colours, but they just seem to have given quite a wide variety of colours, but in different stuff. So like there's a, a green and a blue pencil and a red marker and gold, white and black paint and now a purple purple jewel tip brush marker okay don't know how that's going to work with the rest of the stuff but sure why not last one 24 people ha ha <laughs> mini mannequin is perfect for when you're drawing painting or modeling the human form i don't use it but there he is, look, he's so cute. <laughs> he's tiny. Oh, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, get a free hair. And it's definitely not mine, because it's in there. It's attached in there. <laughs> can I get it out? I want it out. I don't want someone else's hair in my mini mannequin. 
So there's someone else's hair or mini mannequin has a really long pube coming right out of there. Disgusting! That's gross, don't talk like that. Yep, okay, got it. Panic over. He's quite adorable, in my opinion. Alrighty. So let me just get together all the stuff that came out of this advent calendar. I also apologize for my microphone being right where it is in the frame. I think I finally come to the realization I brought the wrong microphone for the job. This is fine for doing voiceovers, but it's not so great filming in this kind of setup. So I really want the sound to be good for you guys. So that's why it's always in the frame. This is all the stuff that came out of the advent calendar. I do want to try and make something with it. Quite a mishmash of stuff though, so I think I might struggle a little bit. I would like to try and just use what came in it and not use any of my other things. And maybe I'll do one project just using what's in it. But then, I don't know, I've got a little bit of an idea, I think, maybe, uh, where I'll bring in some of my own supplies as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll quickly swatch out all this stuff. To do that, I'll switch us into the top-down camera so you guys can have a good old close-up of this stuff. So first job is to test out all this stuff and do some swatches to let you guys know what this brand is like. And looking back on that footage, it's a real snooze fest. So let me just sum it up for you by saying, it's okay, nothing special, not bad, except for the white paint is very translucent and the black fine liner smudges when used with other mediums. I've decided to go with the mini canvas and I had come up with a plan in my head that would allow me to utilize the limited paint colors supplied, but that went out the window when I started playing around. As you can see, I've crushed up the watercolor pencil as I decided I wanted some blue in my background, which kind of worked, but it turned out way lighter than what I wanted. I was going for a really dark, blendy night sky background, but it just wasn't working out. So my plan changed and I started to try and make it look like a galaxy. I used the ink from the purple marker to color the white paint, again, lighter than I wanted, and chucked that on the canvas for the supposed galaxy. Probably would have been a good idea to get a reference picture at this point to actually see what a galaxy is supposed to look like. But oh well, apparently this is what a galaxy looks like in my head. Because it was so light, I went straight in with the marker on wet paint and blended it out with the brush totally ruining the marker in the process of course but hey let's be real i'm never using this marker again anyway i also went straight in with the watercolor pencil to darken up the blue too then instead of making this a galaxy of stars i did snowflakes to try and make it a bit more christmasy which um well it looks okay yeah okay it sucks it looks bad this is what it looks like when I experiment and don't use a reference. Lesson learned. I could have painted over it, started again and pretended it never happened, but I'm too lazy. So moving on. For my next creation, I'm using my own supplies and turn to my trusty polymer clay. I want to modify the little mannequin with a stereotypical Aussie looking outfit, including stubbies, that's shorts, and a singlet. I also give him a bit of facial hair, which I might regret a bit as he ends up looking just a little creepy. Uh, you'll see. these are the final results of using stuff from the advent calendar. Do I think this calendar is worth more than a one star rating? Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing too wrong with the stuff in it and I personally love the little mannequin, which I've decided to name Manny. Plus I love that mini paint palette. Still not sure why though. Would I give the calendar five stars? No. In my opinion it was too much of a mishmash of stuff and was hard to use together to make stuff, if that makes sense. Anyway, if you want to get your hands on one of these Born Art Advent calendars, they are available from Officeworks here in Australia. 
Well, that's all from me. Hope to see you next time.